YouTube, I am NintendoMan64, and I am bringing you another playthrough of another game. Seeing as how we unfortunately could not bring you the summer sports catalog, Michael figured he'd give you the next best thing. Something grand, something extraordinary, something that you probably saw coming. Welcome, my lords, to our new Let's Play, which can only be described as... Mario Super Sluggers. A baseball game, yes, one of the many events that we intended to play in the Summer Sports Catalog was a Mario Super Sluggers series, if you will. And uh, we were going to be doing a lot of things with, with that, including a World Series, where we would pick our two best teams and we would match up based on what we did. Seeing as how we can't do that, I assumed, you know what, let's just tackle Mario Super Sluggers as a game. Maybe we'll have some fun with it. You never know. And you know what, this game is very fun. It's a, uh, Compared to Mario Superstar Baseball, which was the first, this one did a lot of improvements, a lot of fun improvements. And it really made the game so much more believable and fun. At least for me, at least. I'm not sure if other people really like this game, but I did. When I got this game for the first time, I was so freaking happy. Like, you can't really, uh, you can't really shortchange how good this game really is. And in this game, we're going to be tackling a lot. So this is going to be the lesser Let's Play, though. So what we're going to be doing is, first off, in these first two episodes, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording... I'm going to be recording um, uh, practice, and I'm going to teach you guys how to play the game. So this could teach you a little bit about baseball rules. This could teach you a little bit about um, just how to play the game in general, if you guys would want to play this game alongside me. So, without further delay, I would assume we should begin by... Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, there we go. Uh, by creating ourselves a file, a save data. And let's go with, uh... Hmm... Let's go with, uh... Let's go with the first one. Seems legit. Okay. Now, usually, as with most games, before you start the game, they say, why don't you go to practice? Now, in this game, you actually get rewarded for your practice. The reward is not that good, but, for the sake of argument, Let's just say we all want to practice. But here, but say, before we do anything else, let me talk to you about a little bit about each of the things. Exhibition game is where we basically just pick a team and choose the park we will play in. And uh, you can challenge, take on any of the uh, parks you have or the parks you can unlock within challenge mode. Challenge mode is basically the story mode of this game. We will be playing this in which we will try to recruit all the other members of our team to beat Bowser. Mini games are the assortment of mini games that each of the worlds have. I believe every single park has its own mini game. Toy Field is the ultimate mini game. I'll get more in depth on that when we play Toy Field. Records are obviously where the records are held. And before we uh before we waste any more of our valuable time for this let's play, I believe we should start practice. But like I said, you do get rewarded for your practice, but the reward may not be worth it to you since there is a way to unlock this specific character without practice. But if you really want, if you feel the need to unlock this, feel free to. As you can see, this practice menu covers all the basics of practice. The only one you don't have to do to unlock this character is free practice, in which you can do basically everything. Um, let's start with pitching because pitching's kind of important. Pitching is very important, actually. Because you can't, if you don't have good pitching, you can't win a baseball game. If the Colorado Rockies have proven anything to me, that's what it is. Okay, throwing the ball. Here's how to throw the ball. Hold the Wii Remote firmly with the A button facing up. Pull the Wii Remote down toward you to begin your windup. Then swing down to throw the ball. So it's sort of like the, uh, sorry, it's sort of like the, uh, the Wii Sports, Wii Sports Baseball, really. And obviously if you use the nunchuck, you can move yourself where you are and move the pitch, move the pitch wherever you are. 
Yada yada yada. Sorry I'm hiccuping so much. I don't know why. My throat and my throat's not even dry, it just feels like weird right now. <clears throat> ah, there we go. There, you've mastered the basic throwing mechanics. Yay! Pitching part two. Charge pitches! Let's practice throwing charge pitches. Hold the Wii Remote firmly. Blah, 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 blah. First, we'll pull Wii Remote up towards you. While in the wind-up position, the pitcher's power increases. This is called charging. Charge pitches are fast and powerful, but the power decreases after reaching max. This is a max charge. Throw the ball now to hurl a charge pitch. There you go, let's practice. Now charge pitches are actually kind of important, as you can see there. If you don't do it properly, you won't be able to throw them as hard. However, they drain your stamina really fast, so it's sort of like throwing like 100 miles an hour one time, like if you're pitching, and just sort of wearing yourself out like that. It's not incredibly challenging, but you may want to hold off on those for like one of your big strikeout pitches. Part 3, off-speed pitches. Let's practice throwing off-speed pitches. Alright. Throw, then twist right or tilt on the nunchuck to curve the ball to the right. Okie dokie. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to plug in the nunchuck. Oh my god, Wario wasn't even paying attention. Dude, I could have like beamed you. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the demo could have beamed you. Wow, I thought this was me playing. As you guys know, this is a uh, post-op recording, so... Uh, so yeah, I'm basically just giving you a little commentary and stuff. Press and hold A to throw a changeup. The ball will float up and break at the plate. Changeups are going to be your best friends, especially as a big wipeout pitch. Because everyone's expecting the heat, and then you go that, and you just catch them off guard. Alright, I changed it to my nunchuck, and let's see. Changeup is my favorite. Changeup is actually like your best friend in this game, as I've said. Up, oh, darn it. Oh no, it was a curve. Okay, good. Want to be sure. All right. The best part about Mario Superstar Baseball, which was the game this came from, was the fact that if you played that game, you could actually have the ball curve while you're throwing it. Like while the ball is coming towards home plate, it you can actually have it curve and be a snake pitch. I used to call it the snake pitch. Panda and my friend Scott hated when I did that. I actually threw a no-hitter against uh, my friend Scott because with doing that. All right, this is star pitches. Star pitches. Every only captains have the best star pitches, and who are the captains in the game? Captain slash co-captains are uh, Mario, Wario, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Bowser, Diddy Kong, Birdo, Daisy, Luigi. Bowser Jr. and uh, Waluigi. So as you see, main characters are who are not the team captain need two teams to use star two stars to use star pitches. But no other players get super star pitches. Everyone else just gets like pitch that's either slightly faster, slightly slower. The changeup goes slightly higher. Yeah, it's a it's it's weird like that. You don't want to waste your uh, you don't want to waste star pitches on them. Same thing goes with star hitting, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, yeah, I record, but what I do with Mario Super Sluggers is that I record this game in bulk. And I end up cutting the video in half so that I'll be able to have multiple videos to put, portray for each thing. So this practice session does get split in half. I believe I do it after, we, after the hitting so we can do fielding, running, and uh, special together because those are pretty quick. But pitching and hitting are literally the two most important things in this game. At least for me. Fielding is good, but and so is base running, but this is kind of important. Obviously, the key to being a good baseball player, at least a position player, is being able to hit the ball. With the Wii Remote, in this case. Not all of them use the Wii Remote, though. Hit the ball when it overlaps the cursor to strike with the sweet spot. Okie dokie. 
Those are also going to be our best friends, the little nice hit things they have there. Alright. Now there are obviously multiple types of swings too, but the best is the best depending on what is depends on what situation you're in. For example, that's a charge swing. I didn't intend to do that, but it's the charge swing. We'll get over that. Uh, a super powered swing is needed if you're really far behind and you could get a home run. Uh, the regular hits are good just to get on base if you need a runner on base. Bunts are good for advancing runners or taking advantage of things. And the stars are, if you're like that desperate and you need to score at least one run, you use the star hits. And not all the star hits are that good, though. You gotta be careful with which captain you use. Alright, charge swings are what you need to hit home runs. Regular swings won't do it, star swings won't do it, and bunts certainly won't do it. While in the wind-up position, the batter's power increases. This is called charging. It's easier to hit balls farther with charge swings. Obviously. You would expect it to, to at least. This is a max charge. Hit the ball at this point to really give it a ride. Let's see how far it goes. Oh, that didn't go at all, far at all. There are some hits in this game that are considered no doubt home runs. Maybe if we play a couple of games you'll see. That will just get like... Like absolute no doubt are home runs. Like you're gonna hit the ball and you're gonna get like these flashes. It's gonna be ching ching. And then it's gonna freeze on you connect making contact with the ball and then the ball's gonna get pulverized. Uh, it's uh, it's actually easy to get it with almost any hitter, but the best to get it with are the power hitters like Bowser and Wario and uh, Petey Piranha and players like that. Yeah, this game has a huge assortment of characters, so we're going to have to try to unlock as many as possible. Obviously, as many as possible. Alright, bunting is something that modern baseball, for lack of a better term, stat geeks... Uh, they like to try to get rid of, but for me, everyone says, oh, you're giving away an out. No, you're not. Squeeze bunts are still scoring runs. Sacrifice bunts are still giving you the better option to score. What would you, would you rather a team that has, that has better options at scoring, that there's better chances they will score via hits, or would you rather sit there and wait for a three-run homer? It's literally, it, there's literally no contest. I would prefer... To, uh, I prefer to be able to guarantee myself runs scored instead of just sitting there and hoping I could hit a three-run bomb. See, when I build baseball teams in video games, I build them around speed. With maybe one or two guys that hit moonshot home runs. For me, at least. That's just how I do it. At least my offensive and defensive likes. I love fast-paced baseball games. And I hate teams that just sit there and rely on three-run homers. Ironically, what my favorite team, the Mets, are doing right now. Sitting on their laurels and hoping that a three-run homer will just swing their way. But it will not. Alright, next up is star hits. Star hits, basically. It also requires use of the star gauge. Um, and everyone also has their own special powers. Mario's is obviously, uh, there you go. Mario, for example, has a fire swing. So when he hits the ball, the ball will be on fire. Um, I believe Peaches makes all male characters fall in love with her or just get dazed. Um, Daisy's falls into a garden that you can't access very easily. Yoshi's takes really weird wonky bounces. Donkey Kong's hit, gets hit with like a friggin' rifle barrel. Luigi's I don't remember what his does. Wario throws a bomb under his that blows it up and then blows everybody, all the fielders up under it and basically guarantees you a hit. But you guys get the drill at this point. Oh, I missed. Hopefully I won't have to say that many though I missed if I strike out a lot in this. 
I hope I don't strike out a lot in this. I better be good at it at this point. I've been playing this game for years. I mean, my god! Alright, moving on. <laughs> 